46 and welcome back to another Brickmania kit review. Um, I've got some boxes here and there. I'll do a, a review on those separately. But today we are doing the M337 millimeter anti-tank grenade. No, not anti-tank grenade. Anti-tank gun or artillery cannon. However you want to say it. I'm sorry, my camera's not focusing very well because well, now it is, but it wasn't because my battery's low. Anyways, um, this kit has 37 pieces in it. It costs about $15. Um, and, yeah. This cannon was commonly used by the U.S. Um, luckily, Brickmania, I'm sorry about the fan, but they print the flag of which country used the weapons. So, as you can see, all those have American flags on them. I'll do a review on those separately. Anyways, um, this is the gun. This is where you'd load the shells in. Soldiers would sometimes latch. Well, they wouldn't latch, but they'd hold this down, so that way the kickback from the cannon wouldn't send this thing going back. Of course, these things would usually dig into the ground. There's the wheels. So that way, that's the cannon itself. Really interesting technique. When you're building it, it's actually really fragile. Broke at least five times on me when I was building it. But you can do that. You can make the two holes in that thing overlap so that way you could put it onto a Jeep. Hold on. Um, I'll do just that. Not exactly as I was planning it out. Um, one of the two hoops is supposed to go over each other, but I couldn't get it to do that. But, yeah, I'll do a review on this kit. Um, anyways, that's pretty much it. I'll give you a quick last look at it. You can probably guess the build style from it. Alright, I need to fix it. really really nice and I like the little details on it and that's pretty much it um, thank you for watching please rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you all later um, goodbye and good night my case bye